Michael Linsenmeyer, another $5 Super Chat. Now that you convinced me not to install rocket motors on my 3.5 inch whoop, what do you think about the ALS 2105 3600? Yes, that's a way better idea. Like, I don't know the HDLRC ALS motor specifically, although I, I think I've heard people who like them, but I can't vouch for them. But a 2105 is a fantastic motor for a three and a half inch sort of heavier lift whoop. That's a great choice. Definitely do that. Bayachi, thank you for 20 uh, Brazilian reais. I want to get a long range FPV drone, but not a seven inch. What's your thoughts on a Reckon 5 LR or the Flywheel Explorer 4 LR? Um, Bayachi, doesn't the Reckon 5 have weird prop mounting? I said something good about the Reckon. Maybe it was the six inch. Hang on. I said something good about a uh, Reckon. Yeah. And people were like, ah, no, it's terrible. It must be the six inch because the five appears to have standard T-mount motors. Um, I really liked the Reckon 4. The motors are a little fragile, but if for a long range quad, you shouldn't be bashing it too much, so it should be okay. Um, I think this, I mean, I haven't flown this one, but based on my experience with the Reckon 4, I would feel pretty good about the Reckon 5. That's what I would say. Or a Flywheel Explorer 4. Uh, Flywheel Explorer 4, also all right. Um, uh, I'm, I think I think I would lean toward the 5 because I think you're getting longer flight time on the 5. I guess it depends on the battery you choose. The 4 can have pretty long flight time. The Flywheel Explorer 4 is a known quantity. The Reckon 5, I think, is a little less well established, at least in my mind. Mikhail Chernetsov, thank you for a $5 super chat. Follow up on my question about a quad that has weak power after a crash. The quad drifts in one direction on centered sticks. Um, that points to a flight controller issue. I mean, assuming the sticks definitely are calibrated correctly and centered, now your gyro is messed up. Are you in are you in auto level mode? Because that could just mean your, your accelerometer needs to be calibrated. But if you're in acro mode and it's drifting one direction, even though the sticks are centered... That's a gyro problem. That's a little weird. I would say that's a that's a replace the flight controller situation. How to find which motor to replace? Um, one way you could do it is if you're using bi-directional D-shot, go to the motors tab, spin the motors with props off, and see if one motor is making significantly lower RPMs than the others. Uh, I bought a used BQE Bandolero 6-inch with Lumineer 2407 1750KV motors. Are those appropriate on a 6S 6-inch for freestyle? Uh, Fog Doctor, I would say yes. Um, the 2407 is a little bit of a bigger motor. So although 1750KV, I don't know if it's high KV for 6-inch props. It's on a... On like a 2207 or a 2306 motor, I might say 1750 kV. Might, I might be happier with like a little lower kV. But on a 2407 motor, you're going to be fine. Yeah, I would say you're fine. Tap Drown Drone Solutions asks, did I miss you soldering a capacitor for the QAV2 build? I don't know. Did you finish the... Did you finish the... Uh, uh, build or are you just like on video number three? I put the capacitor in at the end of the video, not when I solder up the ESC. I definitely do it, though. Let's find it. Let's make sure that y y we have no confusion here. Uh, where did I put the capacitor in? Final assembly. Is it in final assembly? Yes. Install the capacitor. It's in final assembly, part 12. That's where the capacitor goes in. I'm going to guess you didn't finish the series yet. Um, what's your go-to 3D printer? Oh, we got this question from Alan already. We won't go back into that. I have a happy model EP2. How do I make it output SBUS? 
Um, if Flash Express Alert is 3.3. So if we Flash Express Alert is 3.3.0. Happy model. Uh, what do we want? EP. Happy model EP. Where is the option to output SBUS? In the web oh. UI now. Oh, damn it. It's in the web UI. All right. So what you have to do is you have to flash 3.3, .3 and then in the web UI, there's an option to enable SBUS output. I knew it was somewhere. Uh, Photonese asks, can you use Express LRS 2.4 over a crowd like a festival? A commercial pilot said it's a bad idea and 900 megahertz is the only way to go as 2.4 gigahertz is overloaded with all the phones. You could would lose control. Um, I, I can't speak to that since I've never personally done it. Um, so I, I am familiar with that argument. The counter argument is that uh, Express LRS uses LoRa which is a sophisticated modulation method that is very good at avoiding interference, specifically Wi-Fi interference. So um, he's not crazy, but also there may be people out there who disagree. I couldn't say, though. Thank you, Ta Token for a $2 super chat. Walksnail VRX, that bad on Skyzone Cobra X? Uh, pretty sure in my experience, the latency was horrible. So I would say yes. Someone else out there will be like, it's not that bad. I do it. It's fine. Um, but uh, that's my opinion. Um, is it normal to have drops in bitrate when making sharp turns with the O3 air unit? No. That is not normal. I can't say why it's happening to you, but I can tell you it's not normal. Um, Mogul Lord asks, I've been flying in the sim, watching your videos and doing my own research. I have my eyes set on HD0. Should I get the Fat Shark goggles or the HD0 goggles? And do you recommend an HD0 bind and fly or build? Um, if you have the money for the HD0 goggles, they're a thousand percent the way to go if you fly HD0. They're just so much better than any other way of experiencing the HD0 system. Um, if you're serious about investing in HD0, you should you should try to get the HD0 goggles. The HD0 standalone receiver is okay and can be used with a lot of different goggles. The Fat Shark HD0 goggles are really like, well, I don't have the money, but I want to get into it. And they're, uh, they're okay at the price, but they have a lot of compromises in terms of fit and finish and image quality. Um, so definitely get the HD0 goggles if you can. Uh, as far as bind and fly or build, there are relatively few options in HD0 bind and flies, and most of them are micros. If you want one of them, definitely get it. It's, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. But if you're looking to get something like a 5-inch, you're going to be building your own. See? I knew it. FL Engineer says, Walksnail on Cobra X is not that bad. I do it all the time. I knew it. I knew someone would say that. <laughs> all right. That's cool. <laughs> 